Okay, so let's move to the second problem of section J. The first step is to insert the bracket base as the base part and use it as the origin. So same as we did and in the previous problem, create a new assembly. The bracket base. Remember to press enter. Do not press the left key or it will not align itself. If you press enter, then only it aligns itself in the origin. Now let's uh, insert the other components. We can select all at once and enter. One, two, and three. We have all the components here. Now let's uh, go to the question. Let's try to see how uh, see from the figures how we need to make them. We'll have an understanding of the basic things we need to do. So we'll do that. So these are pieces here and hook goes down. It's connected from the surfaces and everything. So let's try to create the basic assembly. Let's go to mate. The cylinder. Over here. And OK. And let's drag it out. This surface. With this surface. OK. So now uh, I have two options. I can I, uh, because I need two wheels, so I can press Control key and drag on this wheel to copy it and create a copy. Or what I can do is instead of this, I can just copy the uh, whole wheel with along with the mates. You can go to copy with mates, do next, and uh, I'll just uh, make the mates where I have to put the other wheel. So the first mate is concentric, so it will be here concentric with the cylinder. The second mate is surface, so the surface is this one. And okay, so the component is inserted along with the mates. Now uh, the hook is like this cylinder mate over here. I'll drag it out these two surfaces mate done okay, so I have created a basic thing that I understand from the figures now let's go back to the question so the two wheels are tangential to the inner bottom face of the bracket and equidistant from the inner lip and back of the bracket as shown in D uh, the me like uh, here this uh, is tangential with the bottom surface and the uh, there is equal spacing over here so let's try to make that what we can do is this wheel with this surface tangential okay that's correct then this wheel with this surface tangential again okay that's correct Now one more thing, uh, if I keep it like this, I can move it uh, away from it, like that. So not do that and also I can rotate it like this, right? So I have to constrain one thing. I'll take this surface and this surface and make them parallel. Now it cannot rotate, but it can still move outwards. So for that, what we can do is will go to an advanced mate that is the width mate because we need equal spacing right from both sides let's see again we need equal spacing from here and here so now we'll make that go to advanced mate and width so we have to select the two surfaces first two surfaces would be this one and this one these are the first two surfaces then for the second selection first I can just uh, hide this part so it would be easy to select and here this surface no not that one this surface and this surface
Okay, that's well, now that's okay. Let's check for once. Yes, so we can see equal spacing over here. One thing you can see that uh, this hexagon we have we have need to have it like this. It is not like this. It is not aligned properly. So let's go to the question. The front hexagonal face of the wheels are con coincident to the rim of the holes on the back of the cart, and the two wheels are concentric to the holes that we did. Okay, top face of hexagon of the wheels are parallel to the top face of bracket. So that we need to do. So what we do is we can just select one of the face. Let's go to mat again. One of these face and these. So it is already taking parallel. Okay. Then again in this side, just select one face. This will uh, make parallel. Okay. Now we have it right. Let's check once again. Now we have what we need. So let's move to the next part. Now uh, the card is distance A away. As uh, you can see here, from the edge, this is distance A away. Let's zoom in a bit. So this surface is distance A. Away. And what is the value of A? 2.5 it is in inches i guess yes it is in inches so we'll go to this is done now we go to mate select this surface and this surface and give it a distance we'll give it 2.5 remember to write i and your for inches cause our default system is in mmgs so we have to write inches then we'll press enter it will convert itself in mm and ok we have this made now what is next ok so we also have this uh, hook at some angle the angle is b we have to put the hook at some angle b from the surface so and b is 18 degrees so let's do that. So for that what we can do is we can select the plane of the hook. Let's go to the hook. Open the three. And the plane we need is this one, the right plane that aligns with the hook. And we will mate it with the surface. An angle mate. And what was the angle again? 18 degrees. So 18 and let's check the direction whether it is 18 in this direction or that direction we have not checked that yet so let's see from the figures uh, we see that it is like in that direction here the open side is that side so let's try to make it like that right now it is not aligning it is opposite so let's just keep it, uh, let's just try minus 18. Oh, so, uh, sorry, I just have to put uh, 90 minus 18 then. And let's try to flip the direction. We are still not getting it. Let's try something else then. Why is minus? Okay, okay. So I just have negative from there. This uh, from here you can directly flip the dimensions in negative or positive. So now it is aligned. This is how I how we need it to be. Let's just check. Yes, you can see here. Okay, like this. Yes, now we have it correct. Okay. So I think we did all the steps and we have everything that we need now. 
so let's just uh, check the center of mass now let's go with the answers okay evaluate mass properties here also we i think we needed to have an inches right yes so let's make it an in inches okay now let's check the answers so x is 21.02 y 1.39 and z 0.91 so yes that is correct we have got the answer so we'll uh, move to the second part of the question now now we have to change a to 19 and b to 58 degrees so let's go back go to mates this distance edit feature instead of uh, this you just need to write 19 inches so 19 and remember to add i n for inches enter and it is done then we'll go to the last main that is angle edit and this is 58 degrees so 58 and done let's go to the mass properties check the answers section j 23.64 1.39 and 0.91 so yes that is correct and that is the solution for the second problem